Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsblog.com and in this video I will show you how to change the line width in a GG plot 2 plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of R Studio. And furthermore, if we want to plot a ggplot2 plot, then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in line 6 and 7 of the code. So I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code. And now we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package. We can draw a basic ggplot2 line plot, as you can see in lines 9 and 10 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the bottom right of our studio, a new plot window appears. And this plot is showing our data that we have created before. And you can also see that the line width of our line plot is relatively thin. So let's assume we want to increase the line width. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 12 and 13. So the only difference of this code to the previous code is that within the gonLine function, we are specifying the size to be equal to 3. So the larger this number gets, the larger is the line width of your line plot. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the bottom right of our studio, the same plot is created, but this time the line width of our line plot is much thicker than before. So this is basically how to increase the line width in a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, in the video description, you will find all the R programming code of this video. So in case you want to use it by yourself, you can just copy paste it from there. And if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment or if you give me thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.